financial problems, elder law, tax problems, business matters, divorce, personal injury, bankruptcy, your life, your reality. Life is complicated. There is the law and there is reality. Welcome to Law and Reality, sponsored by Thav Gross. Now here's your host, Ken Gross. Welcome to this segment of Law and Reality. Brian Small, nice to see you. Absolutely a pleasure. I even dressed for the occasion. Nice of you to finally dress for the occasion, Brian. It's always nice to see you in clothes. <laughs> Jeff Kirshner. <laughs> Ken, good to see you. Good to see Brian in clothes. Thank you. Scott, Thank you. And Scott Weinberg. Well, all, it's good to see y'all. I'm glad you. you're all dressed. Yeah, <laughs> Scott's, our, <laughs> Scott's our criminal man. Jeff's our workers' compensation, workers compensation and disability man in case Brian's got a problem. Brian is our financial crisis man, estate planning man, all around good guy. I would, before eh. we get started in the show, I would just like to compliment Scott on his excellent choice of tie. Thank you very much. Well, you know, we got to have blue and yes. gold blue and cowboy boots. That's been my Go blue. Today's topic. Sometimes the best solution to a tax problem is Chapter 7 or Chapter 13, something few professionals know about. And I got so I created a fact pattern that brings in some disability issues, tax issues, bankruptcy issues. So let's get started with it. Bill and Jenny are our clients. They're in their mid-50s. Bill's a paint contractor. He's been making $150,000 a year, year in and year out, has several employees. Jenny's a hairstylist. She makes $75,000 a year. They're both self-employed. All sounds good so far. Two and a quarter family income, decent money. Things should be going well. But Bill injures his job while uh, while work injures his back while working falls off a ladder. He's got major back injury. His income is going to go down to fifty thousand dollars a year because he's no longer going to be able to do any painting and really any supervision work himself. He still owns the company. He can still manage it, but he's not going to be able to have the income he had before. So you look like you want to say something. Well, I was just going to say, this is a perfect spot where we should just mention that if you're self-employed in, in, a, in a business like this that has a level of risk, like falling off a ladder, falling off a roof, things like that, you should definitely consider getting private disability insurance. It's too late for Bill in this situation because it already happened, but fair warning, if you if you're own your own company, one of the things you should be doing is looking to protect yourself and your family's future, which is all about what we're about when it comes to getting rid of debt and things like that. But this could have been a proactive step that Bill could have taken. Maybe, he, I haven't told you the rest of the facts, because maybe the next fact I'm going to tell you is it so happens that Bill does have uh, private disability insurance. Really? Is Except I gave you the outline I mean, ahead of time. I already read the outline, so, no, so I, I guess I'm guess so. not going to tell you that. <laughs> but the other issue that Jeff and I were just talking about is the question's going to come up, does Bill have workers' compensation through his company, assuming his company is a, is a corporation. And Jeff, what is it? If he's opted in, he would have it, but most owners that are of their own company opt out of the insurance. Right. So if you're an owner of a company, first of all, if you're a sole proprietor, you can't get comp. You have to have a corporation. Um, but yes, uh, you would be covered unless you opt out, which I see a lot of people do. But to Brian's point, I think that that's excellent advice to get a private disability policy. Even if you are covered under comp, even if you are an employee covered by comp, I would look for a private disability policy with non-coordination so that you could get that, yeah. that as well. I, I, I've carried disability insurance since the time I started, since the time I had kids, from the time I was about 32. You know, I want to ask you about that. So if you have your own corporation, you get disability, Does it, is there a different tax uh, benefit, for instance, paying for it yourself or if the company pays for it? Sure. Like, are you taxed differently? Well, if you're a sub S corporation or if it's a C corp, if the dis here's, here's how it works on a tax standpoint. If you want the income from the policy when it pays to be tax free, then you can't take the disability premium deduction on the tax return. If you take the tax return, if you take the deduction for the corporation, then when the proceeds are paid to you, it's taxable to you. 
I'm going to write this so, down for my so, own notes. So that, that, that's a big one. And in fact, the, the funny part of it is, is I've gone through it with, with clients before, is the disability companies just call up and ask you, so did you take the deductions on this or is this not taxable? And then like, well, I had one client where I said, oh, I'm sure they didn't take the deduction. It's, it's not taxable. No one, no one looked. Yeah. But the point is, in, in terms of the law, is if you take the deduction, then the income, the proceeds are taxable to you, which is a big problem because you have very limited income at that point and you want to you avoid that tax bill. But let me give you the rest of the facts. Their joint income prior was 225000 Now it's one twenty-five. They have a house, $400,000 in value, first mortgage, $350,000, second mortgage, $70,000. Slightly underwater. Slightly underwater. Originally, this house was worth $500,000, then back in the financial crisis, it went down to two seventy-five. dollars Now it's back up to four hundred. <coughs> they fell behind on their taxes. They're self-employed, so they made the problem of lack of discipline in paying their taxes, even though they were making pretty good money. 2014, they owe 40000 2015, they owe 35000 2016, they owe 25000 They have an IRA for 350000 between the two of them. They're both of their IRAs. So the question is, what are we going to do with them with regard to their tax problem, their reduced income, and let's just throw in here, they also have $100,000 of credit card debt. Okay. okay. So... Back to the disability thing. So we know if he had workers' comp, he'd make a workers' comp claim. But what about he still would be eligible for Social Security disability, wouldn't he, Jeff? Yeah, absolutely. And he's over 50, which helps in this particular matter here. Uh, for Social Security disability, you have to be off of work for 12 months, or the anticipated duration has to be 12 months or longer. So early on, it's a little early to assess his case. But after several months, if it looks like it's pretty obvious he's not going back, pretty significant. So, so injuries, how soon should Bill con contact you to talk to you about the case? Well, probably. Right away? In, in, well, I think that maybe a call right away just to talk things out and then get more serious about three to four months down the road if, in fact, it looks like his problems are, are significant enough that's going to knock him out of the box for a while. Quick question. Bill's still going to get an income from his business, $50,000 a year. How does he qualify then for Social Security disability? Well, that's going to be a little tricky, but in this particular case, if he's truly not working, we have to get it documented that any income that he's taking is, 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 is an owner, is, is passive income, as opposed to active income where you are actually going and earning a paycheck every week. He's the owner of a business. He's just making money because he's the owner, not doing any work. So you can make it work. So if, they, if you're Bill, you call Jeff to get the basics on the disability issue. Let's take a break. When we come back, we'll analyze the financial problem. Is the debt piling up? Struggling to get by? It's all about preserving future income. Bankruptcy is one option. When it's right, it's the least costly, most effective way to save your home, eliminate a second mortgage, and wipe out credit card debt. But you need to address the problem now. We help people with bankruptcy. Call the experts. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. Tax problems are major problems. Don't let the IRS levy your wages and seize your assets. There is a solution. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. If you're behind on your taxes and owe money to the IRS, call Thav Gross. We've been solving tax problems for 32 years. We stop wage levies, resolve unfiled returns, and obtain the best possible settlements. Call Thav Gross today, 888-235-HELP. Will I outlive my money? Medicaid is so confusing. A will, or do I need a trust? What if mom needs to go in a nursing home? At Samasco Law, we have the answers to all of these questions. Our attorneys will eliminate the confusion and develop a plan that's right for you. We are dedicated to veterans' benefits, assisted living, and nursing home care. Samasco Law can help prepare you for a long future. Call Samasco Law today. You can't work. You have to deal with pain and stress. Worse yet, our system for applying for disability benefits seeks to deny you the benefits you're entitled. Jeff Kirshner is an expert in obtaining disability and workers' compensation benefits for his clients. You need to call Jeff before you apply or after you're denied to get the benefits you deserve. 888-235-HELP. 888-235-HELP. Carrying too much debt? Resolve your debt. Call Thav Gross. You don't need to be broke and you don't need to hit rock bottom. If you have income and you're struggling with debt, 
dump it. Think about the next 10 or 20 years. If you do what the banks tell you, you'll have nothing to retire with. There is a solution. Don't waste your future. Call Fav Gross. We're experts at eliminating credit card debt. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. If you're retired and in a financial crisis, there is a way out. It pains me when I see a retired couple exhaust their savings by paying credit card bills and for a home hopelessly underwater. Fav Gross specializes in helping retired people in financial crisis. You just can't keep paying until you're broke. You need to address the problem now. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. All right, so let's figure out what we're going to do with Bill and Jenny's situation. The tax, you know, the, the taxes are out there, and the income is down. The credit card debt is there. The first question that anyone, that the Bill and Jenny comes into the office and says to me is, well, can I do an offer on compromise? I heard this on the radio. I saw it on TV. And the question is, just so you know the background, the offer and compromise from a tax standpoint is a terrific program. It gives you the ability to settle a tax debt for pennies on the dollar if you qualify for the program. It's based upon the assets you have, the income less your expense that you make in one year, your allowable expenses. If that is very small, you can settle for that amount, and it doesn't matter if you owe 10000 or $10 million. So if you have zero equity in your home, like Bill and Jenny, that's good, and you had no money in savings and no IRA. Oh, but they've got a $350,000 IRA. If you had no IRA and you had modest income, which their income is now going to be modest at 125 less their expenses with Bill's medical and everything else, he would be able to settle for virtually nothing. But, as Brian just said, the 350000 IRA is a deal breaker. What IRS says on your IRA is you get to keep 30% of it, we'll take the rest. Because you got to pay the taxes. Yeah, why, on the 30% oh, well, is the tax. Yeah, so you say, why are they so generous? Because you got to pay, you not only got to pay the 30% and the 10% penalty, they don't even leave you enough to pay the taxes and penalty is what it comes down to. So the answer to the question for Bill and Jenny is, Bill, sorry, you don't qualify for the offer and compromise. Now, these national tax companies will say, oh, yeah, you'll qualify for the offer compromise. Give us $10,000. We'll send off the application for you, and then you'll, and you'll feel great for nine months until you get the letter back that says you don't qualify. Your offer is approved. You have to pay 100% of the taxes that you owe because 70% of 350 is more than the tax that he owes. Mm. And, you know, that, so there's a lot of scamming that goes on. So that's not going to work for Bill and Jenny. what happens is the people come in and they say, oh, my God, if I can't do this, what can I do? Fortunately, there are substantial other opportunities out there to fix this problem for Bill and Jenny. Yeah. So let, let's, let, let's look at another one. From the tax perspective, we have what are we call collection alternatives, where we try and get you into an installment agreement. If you owe less than $50,000 in tax, you can automatically get a streamlined installment agreement approved with IRS. It's very easy to do. They take it directly out of your checking account. There's no lien, it take, and they give you six years to pay. Do you do that on your own? You contact the IRS? You can do it on your own. We don't recommend it for a couple reasons. Number one is you don't know how to answer their questions. And number two, you need to do some planning before you do it anyway, because the question is, Let's say you're getting a, you, you owe taxes for 2016 and it's now 2018 and you're getting an installment agreement, okay? Are you going to owe taxes for 2019? If you're behind in your taxes for 2019, you don't want to enter into the installment agreement and then default it because if once you're in an installment agreement, you must file on time and pay on time. If you fail to do that, you default your agreement. So in that situation, when we have a client, we do a little planning. Sometimes it's a little stalling get the 2019 tax return filed in January right away so we know how much is owed for January, then do an installment payment for the total of both, for all the tax. So there's some planning that's involved. Can you ever amend it? Can you do that and then you owe it in the future and then amend your prior plan? What happens is you default it, then you have to go through the process of reapplying. And right now, the government is pretty good on approving revised installment plans. But the, if you read their regulations, they don't have to. It's completely discretionary. 
and does anyone want to leave discretion in the hands of the Internal Revenue Service? I would say the answer is no. You want to get it right the first time. Yeah. So here's the problem for Bill and Jenny. The problem is uh, the revenue officer you're dealing with, and they don't have the ability, now that their income is squashed down to 125 after their expenses, to full pay the tax liability for these three years. It's too big of a payment. See, and if you, you're not able to full pay, then it, you can get an installment agreement based on ability to pay. But when that happens, IRS wants the assets that are available. If you had equity in the house, they'd want you potentially to sell the house. If you had a fancy car, they'd want you to sell it. They'd want you to liquidate the IRA to the extent necessary to get you down so you can full pay in the six years. Now, we don't want to do that for Bill and Jenny. What, here, here's, here's, here's my perspective. Bill and Jenny have a, this is the worst time of their life. All of a sudden, things were, they were living the normal life. He's got a horrific injury. He's going to be seeing Jeff to solve the problem to try and get some Social Security disability insurance down the road, okay? Um, their income is, going to, is, is decimated from two and a quarter to one and a quarter. It could go down further because Jenny may have to spend time helping Bill, which could take away her ability to, to work as a hairstylist. And Bill may not be able to continue the business without him there. All his contractors could quit and go take their you know, and go on their own. So he doesn't know his future. And he, so what does he have? They have the three hundred fifty thousand dollar IRA. What do, what's the last thing that they want to hear? They don't want to hear I have to give up my IRA right. in order to then pay eleven hundred dollars a month on an installment agreement to IRS. On top of that. They, they still have $100,000 for the credit, credit card, card debt. debt, and they have a house that's underwater with the second mortgage, and there's all sorts of things, and they got kids. They've got to, you know, you're, people worry about their future, too, college educations, retirement, things like that. That money that's in that IRA is supposed to take care of Bill and Jenny in their later years. So there's a lot of planning that needs yeah. to be done here's, to solve this problem. Here's the, kind of the fun part of it. If you were Bill and Jenny sitting there listening to I this at this point, you're sitting there saying, <laughs> I'm blanked, I'm screwed, we're, we're done, there's no hope. But the truth of the matter is there is hope for them, there is a plan. You're not going to hear the plan until after the break, but there is a plan with a good result for Bill and Jenny, and after the break, Brian's going to walk us through it. Carrying too much debt? Resolve your debt. Call Thav Gross. You don't need to be broke and you don't need to hit rock bottom. If you have income and you're struggling with debt, dump it. Think about the next 10 or 20 years. If you do what the banks tell you, you'll have nothing to retire with. There is a solution. Don't waste your future. Call Thav Gross. We're experts at eliminating credit card debt. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. Tax problems are major problems. Don't let the IRS levy your wages and seize your assets. There is a solution. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. If you're behind on your taxes and owe money to the IRS, call Thav Gross. We've been solving tax problems for 32 years. We stop wage levies, resolve unfiled returns, and obtain the best possible settlements. Call Thav Gross today, 888-235-HELP. A lifetime of hard work. If you don't have the right plan in place, you can lose your home, your savings, and more. And you didn't come this far to lose everything. Samasco Law wants you to know that laws are changing. Today, the average cost of nursing home care is $85,000 a year. With proper planning, we can help protect your life savings and get you the Medicaid and nursing home benefits you deserve. How much can you afford to lose? Call Samasco Law today. Time for announcements. So I want to remind our viewers to listen to us for Law & Reality Live on the Praise Network, Tuesdays 10 o'clock a.m. and Saturdays 7 o'clock a.m. and on KISS 105.9, Sundays 7 o'clock a.m. Be sure and sign up for our monthly contest, free $100 Visa gift card, Law & Reality hat, and copy of my book, Dump Your Debt. We have a seminar coming up, Wednesday, September 11th, 6 to 7.30 p.m. The debt must fall. September is the time, so it's time for debt to fall. Talk about all the methods and processes we use to eliminate debt. Solutions outside of bankruptcy, solutions using bankruptcy. The key, 
get rid of the debt so you start taking that available disposable income and you have some available for saving for the future. We have a special segment Scott Weinberg's going to present on how to address traffic issues and also what do you do if you get stopped. Critically important information. Attendees get a free copy of my book Dump Your Debt. Sign up at thavgross.com or lawandreality.com or call 888-235-HELP. I want to remind everybody you can always come in to Thav Gross or Law and Reality for a free consultation. Just call 888-235-HELP or go on the website lawandreality.com, thavgross.com, and you can sign up, check the, the box that you want a consultation for. We'll call you back and schedule it. you got debt issues with, and estate planning issues with Brian, tax and business issues with myself and Jeff Kirshner, uh, elder law issues with Pat Samasco, criminal law issues with Scott Weinberg, disability issues with Jeff Kirshner. Just go to the site, request the consult, or call the office. We're always happy to uh, have you in. And when we do consults, they're not like meet and greets. We sit, we analyze the problem, we figure out the solution, we tell you what steps you need to take so that you have the plan to go forward and make the right decisions. Check out the websites as well. We have four free reports. Brand new one, Resolving Tax Problems, The Real Solution, written by yours truly, How to Save Your Home from Foreclosure, Business Formations, Loans and Grants for Small Businesses in Detroit and Michigan, and The Retiree's Guide to Social Security from Pat Samasco. I want to thank our sponsors, Stav Gross, Samasco Law, Michigan Criminal Lawyers, PLC, and Jeff Kirshner Law. Now back to the show. Is the debt piling up? Struggling to get by? It's all about preserving future income. Bankruptcy is one option. When it's right, it's the least costly, most effective way to save your home, eliminate a second mortgage, and wipe out credit card debt. But you need to address the problem now. We help people with bankruptcy. Call the experts. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. If you're retired and in a financial crisis, there is a way out. It pains me when I see a retired couple exhaust their savings by paying credit card bills and for a home hopelessly underwater. Thav Gross specializes in helping retired people in financial crisis. You just can't keep paying until you're broke. You need to address the problem now. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. You can't work. You have to deal with pain and stress. Worse yet, our system for applying for disability benefits seeks to deny you the benefits you're entitled. Jeff Kirshner is an expert in obtaining disability and workers' compensation benefits for his clients. You need to call Jeff before you apply or after you're denied to get the benefits you deserve. 888-235-HELP. 888-235-HELP. All right, so Bill and Jenny, we've laid out the scene for you, Brian. The tax installment plan alternative I can do for them, but it's not a good situation and it's going to be difficult to keep the IRA. Even if I could keep the IRA, they're paying every single penny of disposable extra income they have plus to pay off the taxes. You got a better solution? I got three potential better solutions, but really two that will work in this situation. Well, we're give gonna, me the two that will work. We're gonna look at Chapter 13 and Chapter 7 bankruptcy. Now, Chapter 13 being reorganization, we're gonna restructure the debt, pay back what they can afford. But wait, I thought, and Scott asked me at the break, taxes aren't dischargeable. Taxes so how, how are can you dischargeable. Do, how, how can you do a bankruptcy? Income I, I taxes heard on TV are dis- well, then you've that been the, tax guy the, says, wrong the tax guy says you can't dis- discharge those taxes. You've been walking, watching the wrong TV station. You should be watching Law and Reality all the time. Channel 20, 11 o'clock a.m. on Sundays. Yes. So, <laughs> I know can, that can income taxes be discharged? The answer is yes. In order to discharge an income tax, the tax had to have come due at least three years ago. The tax returns had to have been filed in this circuit for at least two years. And you can't have been assessed in the last eight months or the last 240 days. Okay, so 2014 I owe $40,000. Three years runs, all the returns were filed on time. Three years runs up 41518. 2015 I owe 35,000. That runs up, ran up 41519. 2016, the 25 grand I owe, three years doesn't run up to 41520. Correct. So you're saying if I got to 41520, I can discharge all the taxes? Well, let's assume you can't. 
let's assume right now some significant set of circumstances is is, is saying you can't. Why like, can't what? You can't make it. I can't it to, wait? Yeah. Okay, but if I could wait, you're saying I could discharge them all? We would so make sure I'm Yes, clear. we could discharge all of them starting April of next year. So that's a lot better deal than paying it off on an installment plan if over they, six years. Right, and, and they out. get to keep their IRA. But, it's a protected asset in bankruptcy. Scott, Scott right. just said to me he heard that you can't keep the IRA. Well, Scott's apparently no, you, got to no, start. No, you thought, I you, thought were that you could keep it any time. I thought that if a creditor goes after you, they can't go against your IRA. You are 100% right? correct. A creditor cannot go against your personal IRA. The IRS is a special creditor. They can go against your personal IRA. If you owe income tax and you have an IRA, the IRS can go in and levy on it. Okay, I got some bad news for you. We only have two minutes left on the show. I get it. Mm. And you have to explain your two solutions to the problem. Okay, so, so this is going to be one of the rare moments where I'm going to give you stop. the license to talk and we're going to let you. Okay. So, Chapter 13, Restructure the Debt. Let's say you didn't have the ability to wait until April of next year so you could discharge all of the debt. We would look at having, in the Chapter 13, the $25,000 still owed for 2016 would be required to be repaid in full over a five-year stretch. The thirty-five thousand. What about 000, the credit cards? The thirty-five thousand owed for fifteen would go away. The forty thousand owed for fourteen would go away, and the credit card debt would go away because the ability to pay into the Chapter Thirteen, based on the one hundred twenty-five thousand dollars of income, would be very limited. Just enough to pay the twenty-five thousand. Pretty much just enough to pay the twenty-five thousand dollars. Now, an advantage in Chapter Thirteen, in this case. Bill and Jenny don't ha have still have too much equity in their home. No, they don't have equity. They I thought they're underwater. They're, they're underwater. underwater, but their second their house is worth. If their house was worth less than what they owed on their first mortgage, I could also get rid of their second mortgage. In this case, there's right a now. slight bit of equity attaching the second mortgage. We can't. Therefore, if you're watching and you think that you might, your house might be worth less than what you first owe on your first. Take advantage of it now. With real estate values going up, filing a Chapter 13 and getting rid of your second mortgage is a great opportunity. You do the lien strip, it becomes an unsecured creditor. You get rid of it just like the credit card debt? Correct. Okay, you got 45 seconds Okay, so left. let's assume... What about Chapter 7? Well, Bill and Jenny might be making too much money for a Chapter 7. That analysis has to be done. But assuming that we do the analysis and they qualify... Or what if I lowered their income and I told you, because I have control of the facts here. Bill and Jenny are only going to be making $90,000 Then I would put on. them in a Chapter 7, discharge all of the income tax liability next April, or I would discharge it now and put them on a payment agreement on the $25,000 afterwards. So and that's they still scenario. save and your they IRA. still right. keep the IRA. We keep that's the IRA. Right. That's good. We keep it on hold until April, and then we file the bankruptcy, and they discharge all the debt. That's yeah. Good. Wonderful outcome. Bill and Jenny are now smiling, although they still have to deal with Bill's problem. Have a great week. We'll be back next week with Law & Reality.